Hello and welcome to Random Monday Ramblings and today, yes there's lots of traffic sounds, we're going on a little family road trip, not a big one. Our destination is the Dandenongs and this is a sign, been here forever, I love this sign saying welcome to Ferntree Gully and the blue Dandenongs. Here we are, we're driving up the Dandenongs. It's an awesome view from here, but wait till we get to the top. The view there is even awesomer. Awesomer, awesomer. It is the most awesome. And I'm also gonna point out, I'm not the one currently driving the car. But this is the main thing that you come here for, the view. And over here, way, way, way in the distance, I don't even know if I can see it, we have the city, CBD of Melbourne. One slight problem though, the main viewing platform is not pram friendly. Doesn't matter, still got a good view from where I am. Ah, it's Slenderman! This is the wishing tree. Rumour has it some guy lost his son and was searching and gave up and I don't know, somehow looked through this tree and found his son. Well, I've found mine, but then I kind of knew where he was. And there he goes. This wishing well is a new addition from last time I was here. Well, why not? Bit of extra revenue raising. And dotted around, there's lots of random statues, and every corner has a different view, uh, a different vista. Vista? I wonder if there's a place to jump. I suppose high places are a good place for television tower. The home of Mr. Percy Possum. On the door it says, sleeping, do not disturb. Well, of course he's sleeping. Possums are a nocturnal animal. So here we go, we're currently 633 metres above sea level. And there's a compass here pointing to all different things, including Melbourne City, which is 35 kilometres west. This is the giant chair. Apparently, Igor the Giant, who's lived in the area for hundreds of years, had this chair specially built for him so he'd look at the view. And who could blame him? Look at that view! Another attraction here is a hedge maze. I must admit, our family loves a good hedge maze. And uh, yeah, it looks like we've gotten lost already. Oh, we found a shortcut. There's a door. Hey, Ellie, go push the door. <laughs> it's a trick, isn't it? Here we go, we've found it to the first objective of the maze and on the first objective we get the first stamp on our page. I have the feeling I'm going around in circles here. Nothing better than getting lost in a hedge maze. Second objective found, this is called the Maple Garden. Probably because of this great big I'm assuming this is a maple tree. I don't know my trees. And here we are in the third garden. This would be the Chinese, Japanese, I don't know, Japanese garden, I'm assuming. Oh, I love these water features. The water just drips, fills up and, oh, so tranquil. Three out of four little gardens found. Just gotta find one more. Through the maze we continue. And now we've found it to the last of the gardens in the maze. This one's the butterf called the Butterfly Garden. I'm not at all sure why it has been given that name. So that will be the maze completed. And uh, two underlings with four stamps each. Well done underlings. And after that maze, a very dignified cup of tea, a coffee, and some scones with jam and cream. Om nom 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 nom. 
back on the road again <laughs> and uh, off to find another awesome spot which is not hard in this area because this area is full of awesomeness <laughs> uh, here we are on some roads very typical of this area narrow windy surrounded by giant trees apparently I've heard that there is a forest of Californian redwood in the area somewhere uh, I wouldn't know what California redwood looks like but these trees are well they're um big and you know, eucalyptic gum tree type things there's a lot of rhododendrons in this garden and there is actually in this area a national rhododendron gardens I have been told however that in England rhododendrons are pretty much a weed is this a gazebo or is it a bandstand I have no idea kind of fancy one of these in our backyard though Found a lovely little walking track here through Australian bush. Sun high in the sky. No clouds anywhere. No clouds anywhere. It's gorgeous. If we could make it the one and a half kilometre trek, we'd be seeing a waterfall. But seeing as I've got two walking minions and one that I'm carrying. I'm not sure how far we'll get. There was a sign at the beginning of this walk that said that there are lyrebirds living here. There's a very good chance we won't see any. We may hear one, but we wouldn't know if we did, seeing as lyrebirds are liars. They are. They're the great mimickers of the bush, copying any other bird call they wish. And apparently they've even copied the sounds of cameras and of chainsaws. Well, I didn't think we'd walk this far, but we did. We are here at Sherbrooke Waterfalls, and oh, it's well worth the walk. The only problem is we have to walk all the way back now. Well, this has been my Monday, and this has been Random Monday Ramblings, and uh, random enough for you. Bye.